Hi beloved, I come back to you tonight as I've been led by the Holy Spirit to share this message with you and it's regarding a scripture that he revealed me um, this morning actually uh, which is um, in Isaiah chapter 30 from verse 18 that says so the Lord must wait for you to come to him so he can show you his love and compassion for the Lord is a faithful God blessed are those who wait for his help all people of Zion who live in Jerusalem you will weep no more he will be gracious if you ask for help he will surely respond to the sound of your cries though the Lord gave you adversity for food and suffering for drink he will still be with you to teach you you will see your teacher with your own eyes your own ears will hear him right behind you a voice will say this is the way you should go whether to the right or to the left then you will destroy all your silver idols and your precious gold images you will throw them out like filthy rags saying to them good riddance I really fell in love with this scripture because it's amazing how God is faithful in everything that you do and how he leads you properly because by his spirit he always confirms things that you say maybe the day before and through that scripture and the message that I shared with you yesterday he's speaking again for as I was saying when we acknowledge God in our hearts and we truly love him with all our minds all our soul all our strength then nothing evil can enter our hearts and it just confirmed that through that scripture that when we rely on him we rely on his spirit to lead us to to teach us all things then it's it becomes natural it's like an evidence that it we get rid of everything that is not from him we get rid of all the idols that we may have and we may not even be aware of that so again by his spirit dwelling in us through our prayer life through fasting and all these things we just purify everything that is inside of us so that the holy spirit can take over and the Lord then therefore can have his way in us in so many different ways so again we might face the enemy through different aspects um, whether it's um, by sending people on our ways people who may not know the Lord who or who may not be strong enough in the Lord so they give open doors to the enemy and obviously when they don't obey the Lord when they don't obey the commands obviously they are uh, living in the flesh not in the spirit and they walk by sight and not by faith and all this is mentioned actually in the Bible and if we don't follow these principles that we have to submit ourselves properly to the Lord therefore they are open doors to the enemy whether we are aware of it or not so again for those because as it is written blessed are those who wait for his help who keep pushing who keep seeking his face who keep having that hunger and thirst for him then obviously even when troubles come they are deeply anchored in the Lord deeply anchored in his word and they can't be shaken they can't be shaken for they know where to stand they know that they can trust in the Lord they can rely on him rely on his word and therefore they can't be corrupted by anything or anybody in this world they can't be led astray they might fall short maybe by certain distractions of everyday life as you know but as long as they realize it because they acknowledge the Holy Spirit to dwell in them they all acknowledge the holy spirit to take over their life so they have like an alarm hey go back there go back right on track because as soon as we're off we're out of track then things become bigger and bigger and bigger before realizing it this thing this distraction or whatever it is becomes a, a stronghold 
becomes a curse because something becomes something that after we we're like oh I can't take it I can't overcome it but the devil is a liar because you know who you are in Christ and when you know who you are in Christ these things cannot take over your life for you know that we are in a spiritual warfare that basically implies our flesh Satan and this world so the more you feed yourself you feed your soul with worldly things the more you become what you fed you feed yourself with so try to avoid as much as possible all worldly things when it comes to TV programs for instance when it comes to video games when it comes to certain movies when you go to the cinema and you go and watch horror movies or comedies who are not lifting you up in your spirit all these kind of things if you keep doing it feeding yourself with them then how can your spirit be alive in you how can God's spirit dwell in you because you live in the flesh you don't live in the spirit and you walk by sight and not by faith so because you walk by sight because you walk you live in this in the flesh therefore when troubles come you can only see them and you can't see God because the carnal man takes over the spiritual man and therefore your spirit is corrupted so you have to repent and therefore everything will come back in order but you have to be able by the spirit of God the spirit of discernment to be able to see that to point it out and therefore to understand that this is a vital for you to walk right with God and to acknowledge his spirit by feeding yourself with his word by having a prayer life as I was saying in the previous video by fasting whenever the Holy Spirit urges you to so when it comes to filthy rags as it, as it, as it says in that scripture actually when it comes to the music when I was you know a secular artist the videos and even the way I looked I looked like Jezebel because all the wave on and the makeup and and you know sexy attires and long and sharp nails and all these things when I said to the Lord God God I don't understand why but I feel like men they are looking at me as if I was an object and I didn't like it and actually the Lord made me realize that the image that I was showing was not the perfect reflection of the person that I was because I basically was a spiritual person and if the, if the Lord didn't give me that revelation I would have not been able to just get rid of all these things so all of us straight away it put that in my heart that I needed to get rid all of these things that were basically corrupting my appearance corrupting the person that I was truly inside so I got rid of all this hair all this you know um, uh, heavy makeup and a fake long nails sharp nails and all the sexy dresses and 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 uh, high heels and all this because I was all about that and it made all it made me also realize that because I was doing word music and all these things um, that these spirits were actually I gave an open door to these spirits I gave an open door to this evil spirits in my life and they were ruling me without even knowing it and because in the work the, the the in the business industry in the music industry obviously there is competition and you have to look good you have to and sometimes do things that are not properly portraying yourself the person that you really are inside so I was actually uh, enslaved I was enslaved into these things I was not really myself and even though I was not really conformed to the pattern of this world spiritually but still 
I was enslaved by Satan until the Lord himself delivered me, until the Lord himself called me. It drew my attention to say, hey, Axel, you need to stop. You need to listen to me now. You need to hear this truth so that you can be set free because you are my child. And the day it happened, then I got rid of these things and I felt so blessed, so happy, like never before. Because what was inside me was all, was all that God called me to be. But the appearance that I had actually was drawing all the wrong people to me. And this is why I was literally into certain situations that I didn't understand, certain situations that were not in my advantage and where I felt trapped. So by this testimony, beloved, I want you to understand that we can't play with our flesh. We can't play with worldly things. We can't play with Satan because we're living in the last days and we have to understand that it's not because um, we are still alive that it means that everything is fine. The Lord can come at any time, any time, and we have to be ready spiritually to receive him. We have to remain spotless, blameless, shameless so that he may not say, I don't know you. If we deny him in our lives, if we, if we deny him before others, then he may deny us as well before the Father. And it is written in the scripture. So we have to be very careful with our souls for they are very precious. And we have to always fight the good fight of faith no matter what so i pray right now that the lord by his spirit of revelation discernment of wisdom knowledge and truth will speak to your heart right now like never before so that you may be equipped as proper soldiers of god to face the enemy and to always be peaceful and joyful on a daily basis in jesus christ almighty name i've prayed amen god bless you all